While it seems funny to say, uh, we need to teach our students how to breathe. And what I mean by that um, is that we need to teach them how to breathe as wind instrumentalists. I want you right now to take just a regular breath, as though you're watching someone in a video. Think about where that breath is positioned and how much effort goes into that breath. What you'll notice is the majority of that breath is positioned high in your lungs, in your upper chest. Um, there's a very limited amount of rib cage expansion that happens. There's really no engagement of your lower abdominal muscles. Uh, it's very casual, very passive, and doesn't utilize um, all that much of your lung capacity. Now I want you to think about the way that you breathe if you go out to take a run, or you play on your own instrument if you happen to be um, a wind instrumentalist. For um, people who are doing deep breathing, uh, that deep breathing engages a couple of critical parts of the body. First of all, there's rib cage expansion that happens, and that rib cage expansion allows for the lungs to fully inflate. Second, we have lower abdominal muscles that engage in opening that space up, dropping the lung floor, so that essentially it's act, we, our lungs act as a set of, or those muscles act as a set of bellows pulling that air in. We need to teach our students how to do that. Now all of our students are accustomed to this sort of breathing in one activity that they may do more frequently than others in your classroom, which is yawning. I want everyone to take just a nice deep yawn right now. <sighs> Make it nice, loud, and noisy. <sighs> What you'll notice as you do that yawn is that your oral cavity is completely open. Your throat is completely re relaxed, and that yawn expands your rib cage outward. Um, to start teaching our students how to breathe deeply, start by having them yawn. We're going to do three yawns right in a row. Uh, please make sure you have a chair nearby in case you feel lightheaded, because this activity can make you a little lightheaded uh, as we're not accustomed to deep breathing. So yawn in. <sighs> As you do that, have your arm, your hands imitate that motion. Breathe in. And once more. You'll notice with my arms, they're staying open and relaxed. They're not compressing my body in. They're allowing that full rib cage expansion outward and forward. We want to encourage our students to do the same thing. Start with yawning uh, as the start of every single beginning uh, instrument lesson.